The instinctive behaviors of many animals are very complex and this poses a problem for the normal kinds of evolutionary explanations for the origin of these behaviors because if all parts of the behavior aren't there then the behavior doesn't work at all. So it would seem that the whole complex set of behaviors that form one of these instinctual patterns must arise all together, which brings us to the concept of intelligent design of these behaviors, which many scientists today would like to avoid. But let's look, for example, at one of these complex behaviors. There's a, a bird in Australia called the Mallee fowl, which has a very complex nest building behavior. Uh, during the mating season, the male and the female of this species dig a large hole in the ground, about five meters wide and almost a meter deep. And in this large hole, they begin to put leaves and twigs. And they leave these plant materials exposed to the rains, which come at that time of the year. And then the plant material begins to rot a little bit. They then cover this decaying plant material with about 20 centimeters of sand. They place over this a large mound of earth, which has an opening in the center. Then the female molly fowl enters the top of the mound, goes inside, and lays one egg. But she only does this when the inside of the mound is at the proper temperature. And this is determined by the male mallee fowl. So after she lays an egg, she goes out. And then over the course of the next few weeks, lays several more eggs within the mound. But only when the conditions are exactly right for doing this. Then, over the next several months, the male mollyfowl checks the temperature of the mound. In order for the eggs to hatch, they have to be maintained at a certain temperature, about 93 degrees Fahrenheit. And if the temperature varies from this by even as little as 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, the eggs do not survive. The chicks will not hatch. So, in Australia, there are, over the course of many months, extreme changes in the temperature. So, the male molly fowl is constantly using his tongue, his very long tongue, as a thermometer to check the temperature of the mound. And if the mound is getting too hot, he makes adjustments in the mound so that the temperature will become cooler. If it gets too cold, on the other hand, then he makes adjustments in the mound to bring the temperature up. You know, for example, during the cold months, the temperature may be getting too cold. So he removes some of the sand from the top of the mound so that the eggs get directly exposed to the sunlight. And when they get heated enough, then he covers over the mound to, to protect the eggs from the sunlight. So in this way, in the course of nine months, the male molly fowl makes constant adjustments to the mound to keep the temperature of the eggs within the proper range. So when the baby chicks hatch, 
they know this instinctive behavior without ever seeing it they are able to perform the same instinctive behavior which involves a combination of behaviors of the male and female and also the chicks when the chicks hatch from the eggs within the mound they have an instinctive behavior that causes them to burrow their way out of the mound so it's a very complex set of instinctive behaviors not just of the male bird but of the male the female and the chicks and it's a complex set of behaviors that involves many elements and if any of these elements are missing from this complex set of instinctive behaviors then there'll be no mallee fowl chicks they'll all die and therefore no evolution so it's very difficult to explain how this complex set of behaviors arose step by step, even just in terms of theorizing and what to speak of actually demonstrating the genetic sources of this complex set of behaviors, what you would really have to do to explain it according to the theory of evolution by natural selection would be to specify what was the evolutionary ancestor of the Mali fowl with this complex set of behaviors, what was the genomic structure of that uh, bird, and exactly what changes in the genetic structure of that bird had to be made in order to produce the behavior that we now observe, you know, the complex extinctive behavior of nest building that we see in this particular species of bird. Uh, you're not going to find any such explanation today. Now I perfectly respect you know, the right of scientists who believe that this behavior arose step by step by random genetic mutations operated on by natural selection to carry out research in terms of those assumptions. I, I respect their right to do that. However, I think we should be honest enough to admit that at the present moment such an explanation hasn't been provided which opens the way to other possible explanations like the intelligent design of these behaviors. Uh, a lot of the current work in intelligent design has gone into studying irreducibly complex organic features of animals but there may also be room for a new area of research, irreducibly complex behaviors, instinctive behaviors of animals. That may be another area in which intelligent design can operate. 